Hi guys, and uh, first of all, welcome to Mentor Me Careers. My name is Alan Arvindu. I'm the founder and uh, CEO of Mentor Me Careers, and I will be explaining you first step by step how this entire program will run, covering basically every part that is possibly required for you to understand, and make sure that you are paying good attention. Uh, because some of these things are very critical in terms of course completion, in terms of placements, if you have opted for it. So let's get started. So you might see this course uh, often being referred to in terms of modules. So whenever we say modules, the program has actually been divided into uh, about five parts out here, right? Uh, I mean, starting with, of course, Excel for finance out here, right, if you can see, right? So this Excel basically uh, uh, remains as the foundation for doing any calculations for any decision making, right? So you have to understand that financial modeling is finally a decision making tool. So the tool which you're talking about is Excel, right? Uh, and specifically, uh, Excel in financial modeling has been uh, structured in a way which deals with finance, not necessarily everything in Excel because it's impossible to cover everything in Excel, but specifically what we're going to be needing uh, in financial calculations, right? Uh, the second module, if you see, is on financial mathematics, which is another word for saying quantitative methods, right? Uh, now, uh, finance has a lot of calculations related to investments, returns, uh, you know, risk, beta calculation. So all of these concepts basically get covered in the financial mathematics section. So you want to make sure that you are pretty strong in financial mathematics if you really want to clear the interviews, right? Uh, the third, and you could say this is like a given uh, knowledge that everybody has to have, knowledge of accounting from the perspective of analysis. We do not teach accounting from the perspective of a chartered accountant or accountancy field, but more from analysis perspective. For example, if we were analyzing a business, we would be more interested in interpreting an EBITDA margin than actually calculating it because uh, calculating is one part or maybe let's say we, if you're talking about EPS, then we are not interested very much in calculating EPS. But we really want to have some inference related to EPS, right? So financial statement analysis, if you talk about any interviews, any even if you really want to become an expert in financial modeling just for the sake of learning, you cannot do that unless and until you have a solid understanding of financial statement analysis, right? Uh, now, these two areas, you could say, are the applications of financial modeling. It does not mean that this is the only application of financial modeling, but at a generic level, at the basic or, or the usability practical level, financial modeling is more understood using project finance cases or equity valuation cases or mergers and acquisition cases. Right? So project finance cases, the only difference between these two modules is that in case of project finance, the business does not exist. So we are talking about a business that we are thinking to start or a project that we are thinking to start versus equity valuation in which we are saying that the company already exists and now we need to decide whether we want to buy the stock or not. So that's the basic difference. Now these five modules are equally important in terms of an interview or even learning the entire skill of financial model. So make sure that you are paying attention to each of these modules, right? Once you complete your basic program, uh, then we do not limit uh, or we do not want to limit the application that you can learn in financial modeling. So we have got amazing collection of case studies and electives which will get, uh, which keeps on rolling on a yearly basis. So which you are free to attend after the basic program gets completed. But do not focus uh, at the start of the program out here because it's not about just getting a specialization. Finally, this is just use cases. So if your fundamentals of the five modules are not in place, this will not make sense anyways. But any which ways, once you complete the basic program, uh, you will get access to all of these specializations. These will be live classes which you can attend and you can experience how financial modeling gets applied to various business cases. This is where I feel a lot of us will get confused. So pay attention out here on how this program is developed, right? So Excel will basically run for about two weeks, right? Uh, financial mathematics will also run for about two to three weeks, right? Financial statement analysis, since it remains as one of the most important modules uh, for learning financial modeling, gets repeated every month, right? Now, any of these modules actually get repeated every month. So even if you miss one class, it's no problem because you can always attend uh, the same module again next month. 
uh, but the flow of the program is that either you can start it from here either you can start it from financial mathematics or you could also start it from financial statement analysis but uh, without knowing these three, you cannot get into project finance and equity valuation because you will not be able to apply the concepts, right? So whether you start from Excel doesn't matter, whether you start from national mathematics doesn't matter, whether you start from FSA doesn't matter because these are not interrelated. These three modules are not interrelated, but the below two modules, which are the major application modules, of course, are related to this, right? So, uh, the longest duration of the classes will be somewhere in your equity valuation, apart from everything else, uh, which is also part of the program, which is related to placements and specializations, right? And one more thing I would like to clarify out here is that since FSA classes happen on weekday, uh, you might feel that, okay, I don't have the time on uh, weekday to attend these classes, but nothing to worry about because the FSA classes uh, just happen for about three weeks and the timings tend to shift between morning and evening uh, you know every month that it repeats so let's say if in October uh, it was in the morning let's say the 7 a.m then in the next uh, repetition of the same FSA classes on November it will take in the evening so some way you need just need to make sure that you attend one entire series of classes for three weeks uh, it does not matter when, but most likely you should target to do it before project finance. Apart from these sessions, we take you know support as a very critical factor, and uh, for that reason, we have made sure that as much support as possible in the form of these three types of sessions. Okay, uh, doubt solving. Since a lot of students tend to keep on uh, having trouble, you know, WhatsApping and then not getting answers on time so what we have done is we've kept the doubt solving sessions now this will obviously be available for only self-paced uh, plus and above versions of the program uh, in which the doubt solving sessions are twice to thrice a week and it is conducted online so you can just directly come to the session share your screen share your doubt get it cleared out and uh, go ahead Apart from this, uh, placement mentoring takes place uh, for people who have actually enrolled for the placement program. So whatever quizzes, cases, employability quizzes, whichever you attend, for that twice a month mentoring sessions are uh, conducted on weekends. Right. Apart from that, once you become eligible for placements, which I'm going to speak about in some time, uh, you will be attending mock interviews, which happen twice a month on Wednesday. So when you attend these now, it does not mean that we are restricting you anyway to not talk to the trainer or talk to any other mentor uh, through WhatsApp. You are absolutely uh, welcome to do that. But the reason for introducing the doubt solving session itself is because it's more easy. It, it's a time bound session. So you know that you will get your uh, you know, doubts resolved at that 